Who doesn't want a vibrating virtual reality skateboarding simulator? Wow! Too high! <laughs> Yes, Daiki Sato at the Tokyo Institute of Technology has built this amazingly involved board game. This is brilliant! Because the skateboard is vibrating. Oh, can you, can you hear the difference? The, the cobbles. It lets riders feel the ground texture change beneath their feet as if they were skateboarding on real ground. And, this is the best bit, because I'm in virtual reality, I can get all the thrills of high-speed riding in real life with none of the consequences when I fall off or inevitably bang into the scenery. Smash! So normally when you wear virtual goggles, you can't experience things in the same way. Whoa, I'm going to stop for a second because obviously I'm meant to be, I don't know, telling you about this. Wow, wow, that's really incredible. Adding that sort of sensory element really does bring a game like this to life. The sound, the feeling of the vibration, and certainly the actual physical peril. I really was quite reliant on this pole, and I didn't think I would need that at all. To get the sound, they mounted microphones underneath a real skateboard and recorded the sound of different road textures. Then, the sound for each texture is played back during the game, depending on the texture being displayed on the screen. Underneath, we've got a pair of 50-watt bass speakers. Basically, it's using sound, but low-frequency sound, to give that sense of vibration. And then under here, we've just got a collection of microcontrollers, all of which are sending data back to the computer. You've got your skateboard, you've got your treadmill, you've got the amplifier, you've got the Oculus Rift. It's a very ambitious project, but it does kind of work. The system also recognises when you tilt the skateboard, the computer-generated, or CG world, responds accordingly. Plus, there's a sensor in the treadmill. And when you kick the treadmill, the force sensor in the treadmill detects your kicking force and then the computer simulates the speed by the kicking force. And then the skateboard in CG world will move ahead. And no, it's not as easy as it looks. Here's producer Farshad trying it for the first time. Frivolity aside, I was impressed by how easily I accepted and learned from feedback within the virtual world. This has massive potential, a world which feels real enough to learn to skateboard in, no matter what level of reality you're actually in.